Hi guys, come with me today as I do odds and ends upkeep. It's all in preparation for the fall season. It's time to catch up with all the summer overgrowth. I'm not saying much in this video because sometimes you just gotta get things done. I'm busy enjoying the quiet, especially as the coolness of the morning greets the rising sun. My mind is occupied with the beauty and rest of a new day. The rains in this season have a way of giving life in so much abundance. Sometimes I forget that this is a blessing. Nature was made to thrive. All I can do is work with it and learn to appreciate all the extra. I woke up this morning in time to receive the golden kiss of the first rays of sunlight. There's something about tending the earth at this time. I feel one with nature, aware, alert, inspired. What does today hold? All I can do is what is in front of me. That's the only way I'll know what to do next. It does no good to get anxious about how long it takes to get some things done. I'm learning that life is about the journey, not the destination. Being steady is the key. It takes character, determination, a faith in a living God to know you'll get there. Slow and steady wins the race. Caring for living things opens an avenue into the soul that leads to selflessness. It is so much better to give than to receive. And, I might add, it is so much more invigorating. 
Getting outside ourselves is a great way to develop love. Bull ants are everywhere. And it seems to happen during summer. This is the time of season I have to watch and make sure that they don't start nesting in the house, which I've seen a few in there, not near as bad as the year before last. But they like to come along here along the house and crawl and I don't know where they're going. Makes me a little bit nervous. Any ideas as to what to do, let me know. And they're all over the water hose too. I guess they're using it as a highway. <laughs> That's funny. Just like this grass, anything you let go in your life has a way of growing out of control. I'd rather nip it in the bud instead of letting it go to flower and then seed and then spread. Nature is full of lessons. You never know what you'll find when you move a ladder.
this is what I've been kind of leery of. I don't know if you can see that wasp's nest up there. Hopefully you can, and of course these little curious and protective things don't want me to get too close. Thank you so much for joining me today, for liking, subscribing, and following. We are all in this journey of life together. May God richly bless you today.